there's a very special community within this great Christian science movement. And it's a community of families and loved ones and people dealing with these labels associated with developmentally disabled, intellectually challenged. There's quite a few labels out there. And at Rainbow Valley Resource Network, we go right into that community, we reach into that community, and we provide financial support for practitioner care, for subscriptions, for respite care across the nation. And the other thing we do is we gather up members of this community and we take them to various programs at Christian Science Camps. And at those programs, they're engaged in outdoor activities, they're embraced by staffs who love them and support them as fellow Christian scientists. And the progress we see is remarkable. To know that that organization was there for people like Matt just meant a lot to me as a mother. Like I say, they don't see labels. They see unique expressions. There's no limitation, which is so different than what was told when Matt was born. There was all sorts of labels and limitations put on him. And then the opportunity I hope to share if someone um, feels like they're alone, <laughs> that they have support, that they can find other families that have gone through this. And I can just tell them what a blessing Matthew has been to us. As a board member, I put time into this organization because I feel like I am literally a part of a movement that is all about a greater good of the purpose behind Christian science. And it gives me an outlet to feel more Christ-like in living my life, in reaching my brethren, my sisters and my brothers, um, in a way that it's very tangible. I might want to get them up here. Our VRN yeah. has been such a blessing to Matthew and to us, his family, and to Matthew's friends all over the country who uh, he has met because and through our VRN. Uh, so I want to thank you for your support and uh, your continuing support so that this RVRN can continue to bless Matthew and others like him and their families.